what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back so after my little break i am back you guys know i'm recording all this stuff straight but you guys don't get to see it at the same day get to do two episodes a day okay let's do it all right so we are here with episode seven and eight today you already know big huge time skip that happened um to episodes five and six and we are here right now and i'm ready to go jump back in so i'm not even going to waste any more time with um with the intro just know that i'm curious to see what the hilltop is doing how they've been striving because they were doing the best out of all the communities and also carol had mentioned that the communities are split i don't know why i don't know if they're split it's more of like it's like every community or every it's like different states if you want to put it in that perspective it's like they have their own rules but i don't think they're split as in they're not in agreement i think they just went their separate ways and have their own different rules you get what i'm saying that's what i'm thinking they have a council now at alexandra so i'm guessing that a hilltop has the same maybe even um kingdom has the same haven't gotten an update on oceanside i don't know where they're staying they probably had hilltop um you know because they got chummy and whatnot um and also yeah so i'm just looking forward to seeing what they're going to do man i really am enjoying watching season nine right now it is very well written so far right now at this point six episodes in it's a 10 out of 10 season so far for me um if i should give it a rating at this point with 10 episodes to go so thank you guys so much i'll catch you guys for the review Okay, so that was episodes, what, seven and eight, I think? Yes, episodes, yes, episodes seven and eight, my god. These zombies are evolving. Walkers are evolving. My god. If you had asked me where season nine was going to go, I could have never said evolving zombies but it's not really the walkers though it's not really walkers it's real people dressed up like walkers walking among them and leading them but how are they following them that's the thing like how are they leading the zombies you get what i'm trying to say like how are they leading them it doesn't make sense that's another thing too like how are they leading them are they using something to lead them the way they want them to go because even if even if it's just a few of them among the herd right um you know humans that are dressed up as walkers right even if it's just a few of them how are they leading them are they guiding them with it's not maybe it is sound because they are whispering so maybe they're using that sound to kind of I don't know. I don't know. But they didn't go towards the loud noise. So, okay. All right. All right. But why are they doing this and where are they from? You get what I'm saying? Where are they from? Man. But the highlight, of course, or low light, if you want to call it that, is now that Jesus is gone. Jesus is gone. You know, and, and it's... It's going to be devastating. They need to. I don't know what happened. What caused the split. I don't know what caused the split. But whatever it is that caused the split. They need to forget about that. And come back together. I would have never expected that. Over years. Whatever the decisions that they made. That caused the rift between everybody. Whatever it is. And this is what I'm saying. You see this is the reason why Rick is a very essential character in the show. Because with Rick, that would have never happened. There would have never been a split. He would have continued to try to bring the communities together. But it seems like Michonne is the only one that split apart from the group. Because it seems like Hilltop and Kingdom still work together, right? It seems like they still work together. But for some reason, Alexandria, based on how Michonne is having to rule over there... It seems like there was a falling out of some sort. I don't know why Maggie is left to 
build her own community with Georgie. Who the hell is Georgie again? I don't know who the hell is Georgie, but they keep mentioning this Georgie that left with Maggie. I don't remember anybody named Georgie, okay? Um, it's just strange to me. Um, but in any case, you know, um, the most important thing is that they are new it's not really new type of walkers. They have a new faction, but they don't know who it is. There's a new faction that is doing this. There's a bunch of people out there that are doing this, that are putting on zombie masks and going out there walking among the walkers and, you know, doing what they got to do, right? Um, we don't know what their intention is, what their motive is. Still don't have any update on Rick. I don't even know if Rick is going to come back for the season or whatever we know he's alive but I don't know what's gonna be the situation when when we see him again you get what I'm saying um, we don't know where he is these people with the helicopter who are they who are these people that Jadis has been talking to who are they you know what I'm saying so many questions so many questions and you know in, in, in time we're gonna find all this stuff out but it's just intriguing to me still eight episodes in i'm still at a 10 out of 10 for this season the writing is incredible for this season so far the acting has been awesome um the setup kind of you know what i'm saying remind me of certain aspects of early walking dead you know what i'm saying and that's the reason why i'm falling in love with this season so much is because the dialogue is great the meetings are great the, the situations are great that the characters are put into. They are great. And they're pulling it off. Again, like how the story used to be told back in earlier seasons. You get what I'm saying? And it's not, you know, it's not you kind of piecing things together, but the show kind of piecing together things for you and doing it in an incredible way. You know what I'm saying? Like in season eight, I could tell that, you know, in certain scenes that that you could see that it was there was a difference there was a difference it felt different there were things that happened that just didn't make sense like you know the reactions to Carl dying from certain characters and stuff like that it just it, it was just kind of meh you know what I'm saying and that was one of my biggest gripes with the season It's just like you're gonna kill off a major character that and you're not even gonna Maggie was supposed to have a bigger reaction than she did Carol should have had a bigger reaction than she did. There's so many characters that had connections to Carl from season one. You get what I'm saying? That should have had a bigger reaction to him dying or finding out that he died. But there was none. There was nothing. Nothing of the sort was really disappointed about that. So, as I said, man, so far, eight episodes in, incredible season so far. Definitely excited about what they're going what i'm going to see next i'm going to be doing two more episodes tonight but y'all not going to see that until tomorrow anyways you guys are awesome i'll catch you guys later peace